Temperatures are continuing to climb across the Okanagan. Although Environment Canada says the heat hasn't reached a point where a heat warning would be issued, meteorologist Derek Lee says the heat warning criteria might be reached by next week. Environment Canada says they would declare a heat warning if temperatures reached 35 degrees for two consecutive days or higher, and in between the night would be a minimum of 18 degrees. Right now we're looking at temperatures to be around maybe 18 degrees degrees above our average for the area. Um, as we get into the weekend and possibly into next week is when our ridge of high pressure further intensifies. So by this intensification, we can see temperatures reaching even higher by next Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday, the Okanagan should expect to see a high of 34 degrees and up to 36 by Wednesday. Gospel Mission Executive Director Carmen Rample says the outreach team has been running out of water to hand out to those in need. The reality is there's been um, an increase in giving out water, but we can only give out what we have. And so we've been running out of water um, quicker and quicker every week for the past couple weeks um, as more people are requesting them. We always uh, make sure to tell people where they can refill their water bottles in town as well because the city has actually put out a few water refill stations. The outreach team says they've also noticed an increase of homelessness in shaded areas. A lot of people camping out around the rail trail, under trees. There's been a big increase of people in the parks in Rutland, especially in Lyons Park. And so we're seeing more and more people starting to congregate there as a safe and a nicely shaded place to be. Rempel says they are accepting water donations. The warm weather has also prompted a reminder from the fire department that open burning is banned. Kyle Jacobson, the fire and safety educator with the Kelowna Fire Department, says a spark from a campfire can easily jump and ignite surrounding kindling, so we are asking everyone to please follow these rules and help keep our community safe from wildfires this season. For Castanet News, I'm Addison Earhart in Kelowna.